helped us to begin to appreciate God for those two families, for what God has done in their lives. Put your mouth when you pray for a family, you are praying for yourself indirectly. Let us appreciate God for the families, Ile Sumi families, and no Muba families. Let us appreciate God for what God has done in those two families since this year started. Let us appreciate God for protection, for guidance, for God's love, for God's attention, for God's blessing over those two families. Let us say, Father, we lift you up. Nothing evil has been heard about those two families. That's been the plan of the enemy has not prevailed. Yeah, let us appreciate God. The gate of hell has not prevailed. And it will not prevail over them. Let us appreciate God for protection, for provision of good life, provision of blessings. As tough as things are in this country, all over the world, God has been taking care of these two families. Can we say, Father, we appreciate you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We want to quickly use the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 to pray for them. And the first prayer, I want to pray, say, Father, help these two families to diligently hearken unto your voice in the name of Jesus. Help them to observe and to do all that you have commanded them. They will not fail you in the name of Jesus. They will not fail you. We receive capacity for them to diligently hearken unto your word and all that you have commanded them to observe and to do them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed as they are going to obey you. I want us to pray with verse 3 of Deuteronomy 28. Let us declare, these two families shall be blessed in the city. They shall be blessed in the field. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and let's declare concerning Ilesomi family and Anomuba family. Ilesomi and Anomuba family, they shall be blessed in the city. They shall be blessed in the field. In the name of Jesus, struggle and pains are removed from them. Blessings becomes their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 4. Let us declare these two families shall be, the fruit of their body shall be blessed. The fruit of their ground shall be blessed. Their fruit and their cattle shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Can we open our mouth and pray it's on the screen? Lord, we declare concerning Elisomi and Anomba family. They shall be, you shall bless the fruit of their body. You shall bless the fruit of their ground in the name of Jesus. The fruit of their cattle is blessed. You shall increase their flock and sheep. Everything that concerns them is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 5, their baskets and their store shall be blessed. You know what God is saying there. It's about very abundant increase. Their basket and their store, they are blessed. They will not lack. They will not lack. They will not starve in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what is happening all over the world. They will be abundantly blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed shall be their basket. Blessed shall be their store. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed shall, thou, shall they be when they come in. Blessed shall they be when they go out. Are you praying for them? Let us declare the word of God. They shall be blessed when they come in. They shall be blessed when they go out. Your protection and security shall be so strong upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, none of them shall be kidnapped. None of them shall be attacked. None of them shall be humiliated. In the mighty name of Jesus, where the human security fail, your security shall not fail over them. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will take care of them wherever they go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 7, let us say the, the Lord shall cause their enemies that rise up against them 
to be smitten before their face. They shall come out against them in one way. They shall flee before them in seven ways. Let us declare that word of God. The Lord shall cause thy, their enemies that rise up against them to be smitten before them. In the mighty name of Jesus, their enemies shall be, shall be destroyed, shall be defeated before them. Even if the enemies come up against them in one way, God will cause the enemies to be scattered before them. Even in, in, in many ways, in seven ways according to the word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord shall command the blessings upon their storehouses. They will not lack good things. In the mighty name of Jesus, in whatever they set their hands upon, the Lord will command this blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, their land is blessing, their head is blessing, their work is blessing, their families are blessed. They are blessed in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord shall be strong upon them to bring to pass his covenant, to bring to pass his promise in the name of Jesus. All of them shall live long to fulfill the purpose and plan of God for their lives. Thank you, Father. Pray for yourself and say, Father, bless me too. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I've prayed for this family, let it be unto me. Open your mouth and pray. As I've prayed, if you have not prayed for the family, now you can see. As I've prayed for these two families, let it be unto me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do unto me according to your word. Bless me tremendously. And let me be blessed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah.